My name's Dawn. I'm Josh's mom. The reason why I want to do this video is to basically tell everybody who is thinking about or contemplating getting a knee replacement what they really need to expect. Um, I've watched a lot of videos prior to my first knee replacement um, and everybody out there said, oh, I was golfing after three weeks or, you know, oh, I resumed all my normal activities, um, you know, four weeks after. They, they talked about things where it completely changed your life in a short period of time and, you know, it was, it was amazing. Um, that's all fine and dandy, but I'm here to tell you what to really expect um, I'm 52 years old. I had a, my first knee replacement two years ago and it damn near killed me with the depression and, and uh, not knowing what to expect. So I'm here to tell you that I think it's a great idea that y'all are wanting to get it. Um, do your research because the doctors and, and, and everybody, they're not gonna tell you, you know, what really goes on. They, they tell you, okay, yeah, they, they go in and you'll be out of work for X amount of time, you know, you have to do your physical therapy and, and, you know, stuff like that. When you first have it done, you're in the hospital, obviously, you're gonna be on pain pills, you're gonna have a nerve block in your leg, okay? You feel fantastic. You absolutely feel fantastic. The first day that it happens, I was up walking around, you know, with a walker, of course, and I was doing laps around the, uh, the hospital floor, you know. Then the next day, reality sets in, and uh, the pain block wears off, and you're in pain, you hurt, you can't bend your leg, you can't move, you know. You cry, There's they, they don't tell you all of this stuff. Um, you're asking for your pain medication. They wanna give you some cheap crap that may work for you, Vicodin or whatever. But, I mean, I was on morphine and Dilaudid. That's how much pain that I was in. And I could have it every hour. And then the physical therapist comes in and wants you to stand up and walk and, and you, you just feel, you, you feel like you can't move it. You feel like it's gonna break if, if you move it. It does get better with time, I will tell you that. You're in the hospital a couple days. I was in four days on my first one, three days on my second one. Um, you know, it, it, they, they tell you to, to get up and move, and, and you should. You know, you start with a walker. It's very stiff. It's very painful. It feels like it weighs a thousand pounds. Um, I think the hardest part for me, and probably some other people out there that have had this um, done, is once you get home, you feel comfortable that you're home, you're on your pain pills, you're on your, you know, your blood thinners, you're on all this other stuff, and, and, and you still have the pain, you still have the discomfort, you still have the aching as days go on. You can't sleep. No matter what you do, no matter what you try, they're not gonna tell you that you won't be able to sleep probably a good whole night for a month. My first month, uh, with my first knee replacement, I slept in a recliner. As you can see, I'm in a recliner now. I am about 16 days into my second knee replacement. This one's going a lot better than the first one, but um, you can't sleep. I've, I've taken pain pills, I've taken sleeping pills, I've taken diphenhydramine on top of one after the other after the other in hopes to get some kind of sleep, and you're lucky if you can get an hour. Um, it's after, after a week or so of that, you, you get irritable. You, you're so damn tired that you just, just want to sleep. You just want to sleep to make the pain go away, to, um, feel that relief, but you know, you, you just don't get it. Um, like I said, I'm about 16 days into it now, into my second one. And 
People ask me, well, you knew what you were in for to get your second one. Well, the brain kind of forgets, you know, all the, all the pain, all the agony, everything that you go through with your first one that you think, okay, I got to get the second one done to have a better quality of life. And I'm looking at the big picture, but once you have your second one done, everything that you forgot about your first one comes flooding back. I just want everybody to know that, that who is thinking about having it done, what to really expect. Okay. It's not all sunshine and flowers. Okay. Get yourself a recliner, get one that you can sleep in, that you can rest in. Okay. You have days and days and days of ice packs, you know, just realize that you're going to have many, many sleepless nights. You're going to, when you finally do think about laying in a bed, which that's what I'm doing now after, you know, not quite three weeks, you're still not going to be able to sleep. You're still not going to be able to get it comfortable. It's still going to ache. It's still going to hurt. You're going to want to rip it off on days. You you just want it to be normal again. But stay positive and look at the big picture that you'll have a better quality of life once it, once it is healed. And it takes a good two years, okay? Because this other one, it's been two years, July, and it's finally, I have no pain, no swelling, no aches, no heaviness in it, you know, nothing. Um, it takes a good two years. But give yourself the first few months of living in a recliner and not sleeping very good and, you know, not being able to do the, the things that you want to do. Just realize that the doctors aren't going to tell you this and other people's videos are telling you, yeah, I'm golfing after three weeks, which is a bunch of bullshit. Okay. I try and stay fit. I'm very active. I like doing things. I like going places. So sitting in a recliner, you know, 23 hours a day, it, 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 it really sucks, but keep moving it, keep fighting through the pain, take your pain pills, you know, just realize that it does get better. But I just wanted everybody to know what the real deal is when it comes to a total knee replacement. Okay. The things that they don't tell you, the things that even if you ask, they're not going to tell you. And once they go into your knee the first time, whether you have an ACL repair or an MCL or a meniscus repair or something, they're not going to tell you you're going to get arthritis in that knee, but you do. And that's what causes the total knee replacement when you get a little bit older. Um, I appreciate everybody who views this video. You're more than welcome to comment if you like. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. If this video can help one person that is contemplating a knee replacement or that one person that has it scheduled on the calendar to have it done, if this video helps one person realize what they're going to have to go through once it's done, then I did my job. I didn't have anybody there to tell me what to expect. Um, I relied a lot on my friends with this second one, you know, so I just want everybody to know what to expect. And that's why I'm doing this video. So good luck. I hope everybody has a full recovery and um, get that recliner because it's your best friend for the first few months. Thank you.